Whenever anybody finds out that I compete at a reasonably high level in a sport, the first question is always, oh, do you have a really strict diet? Oh, do you have to eat fish and veg? Oh, do you eat chicken and rice and broccoli? That is always what people assume. And then other people will ask what I eat, what my diet looks like. So I thought I would make a quick video today so that you can see exactly what I eat, when I eat, why I eat it, blah, 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 blah. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. Before I continue, don't forget to click the subscribe button and give the video a like to see more content like this. So we recently had our kitchen done and still haven't done the decorating so please excuse the nice bit of bare wall behind me. First up we have breakfast. I am a creature of habit when it comes to my breakfast and I'm going to have some bacon medallions. I don't know what kind of egg. I'm going to have one fried egg and some baked beans and toast. Mm -mm. I use the Lean Bacon Medallion sold at Aldi, they're a fairly reasonable price and super super yummy. Beautiful. So not long after, I headed into the kitchen for my first snack of the day. Of course, it was a Twister iced lolly. Mmm. So these are just a couple of bits going into today's meal for my lunch. Here's a nice little cooking dance for you all. So something super duper exciting has happened while I've been cooking my lunch. My laptop has come in the post so I bought it from a friend. This means that I should be able to edit my videos in a better quality so that it uploads better than it has been while I've been doing it on my phone. So super exciting and here is to better quality YouTube videos. Adding in secret ingredient barbecue sauce. I'm just about to sort out my pre-workout meal and I guess this is where things get a bit more interesting from a nutrition point of view. So my pre-workout meal will consist of around 70 grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein and around 10 grams of fat. I think fat is one of the macronutrients that we don't tend to think about really when we talk about pre-workout because everyone's just like carbs, carbs, carbs. But it's important to have fat in your pre-workout meal because as you're working out, your blood sugar levels can drop. So just having a little bit of fat pre-workout can prevent this drop and prevent you from going into hypoglycemia. Knowledge. Well, and by that I don't mean like full-blown hypoglycemia. Like if you're not having a little bit of fat each time you work out, I don't think you're like at any significant risk unless you're going like really, really, really hard and have literally had nothing beforehand but that is the reasoning behind why I just wanted to drop that in there interesting little fact one of the things I've learnt from the brilliant Tiny Titan Vicky Masita my nutrition coach that I have taken on board and find really useful and really interesting this is one of my favourite pre-workout snacks a build and bake red velvet protein I had this with the raspberry ripple protein shake 30 grams of cocoa pops one Weetabix and some semi-skimmed milk. Food's had just over an hour to go down, so now trying to get off these comfies and get ready to train. Training clothes on and I'm good to go. Let's head all the way downstairs. Joys have been in lockdown and start training. Today I've got, what have I got? I've got some like banded, posterior chain work, some core work, some stones, that's pretty cool, and then whatever, yeah, so 
come along, see how well I am fueled for my workout and then see what I eat after. That long journey to the gym is already over. Oh look, here we are. Little side note, I'm quite enjoying training at home, you know. It's nice not having to be somewhere else and then get home really late and do all the stuff. I'm just here. So if I want to do something... My mobility is an area I'm really trying to work on. So here you can see me foam rolling with a roller I was sent by Mind Body Future. It's a vibrating foam roller that makes rolling the IT band a bit more bearable. Anyway, this is all part of the Limba 11 mobility routine by Joe DeFranco. I will put the list of exercises up on this screen. You can see me doing the first few here and then there was another lot that I didn't get on camera. This is the bent knee iron cross. The idea is to keep your feet and knees together whilst getting that rotation and turning your head the opposite way for a bit more thoracic mobility. Just recorded this one for the crack really. Don't laugh, it's early stages and I am learning and trying to be more bendy. <laughs> On this frog stretch it's really important to keep your feet outside of your knees so you get a much deeper stretch and really open those hips up. I am not a perfect example of any of these stretches but it just gives you an idea. This is the last one you'll see, the others I have written up on the screen. So first part of the workout saw me doing banded good mornings, set of 30. I think Jenny, my coach, was trying to kill me. When doing these, you're trying to push your bum back until you can really feel the stretch in your hamstrings and then contract the muscles so you can really, really feel it when you're coming back up. These are my nemesis single leg glute bridges, I had 15 reps each side. Personally I like to have my foot elevated, I can feel the contraction more in my glute than when my foot is flat on the ground which is part of the due to my mobility issues which as I said earlier I am working on. Then to finish off I had sets of 10 inchworms and then these three exercises are repeated for three sets. So the goal here was 4 reps every minute on the minute with this 65 kilo stone. I actually found this quite challenging because the diameter of the stone is so small for the weight. So it's 65 kilo but only a 9 inch diameter which makes gripping it and pulling it up and into you a little bit harder. As you can see, this got me blowing pretty quickly. Trap bar marches to finish off. Three minute, as many reps as possible. This absolutely killed my hands. So that's today's workout done. I'm looking suitably knackered and now I am going to make my post-workout meal which has all of the carbs, quite a lot of protein and not a lot of fat. Are you ready to see this post-workout meal? I think post-workout is like my favourite meal of the day because it's just all of the good stuff. So we have crumpet and jam, nom nom nom. Natural yoghurt with granola, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, bananas and my favourite way ever, Strom Velocime in custard cream flavour. That's really good to mix with yoghurt, oats, those kinds of things. I had this with one scoop of Creamax from Strom Sports Nutrition and one capsule of Maximize. I use this to increase the efficacy of the other Strom products that I use. So post-workout, everyone seems to know that we need protein and that's really important for recovery, but carbs are also equally as important for recovery, if not more maybe. Um, during our workout, we use a lot, a lot of energy, so it's really important that we replenish those glycogen stores. Another little knowledge bomb. I'm gonna go and enjoy my food. With regards to fruit, 
in your post-workout, much better than veggies. Fruit helps gastric uptake, whereas veg slows it. So have your fruit after your workout and then have your veggies later on with your dinner or with your lunch earlier on. Whenever, just not straight after your workout. It's not what I would say. Another knowledge bomb. Fruit also helps you poo. Matt says, fruit helps you poo. So does Fruitella. And Fruitella is a, a bad, bad man. man. Sweet. Cheers. Oh look, we've got some better lighting. So, most of my day's food is gone, so now it is just dinner. At the moment, I'm really loving treating myself at dinner and doing some dirty fries. Come see how that looks. Bit of mince, bit of potato, bit of passata, stick them in the oven, put a bit of Liam Perrins in, bit of cheese. And some mayo for good measure. Oh damn, that's good. That was super, 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 super yummy. And now I've just got enough room and enough carbs for a bit of sorbet to take to bed with me. I've got my last little snack of the day to, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and watch film and chill out because it's bank holiday weekend. Although when you're watching this, it might not be bank holiday weekend. I'm not sure. So total calories for the day were 2,427. That is it from me today. I hope you found this interesting, insightful, entertaining, any of the above. If you have any questions about my nutrition or who programs me or why I choose to be programmed or anything I eat or anything else I eat or any other questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thank you everyone for watching and please if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I will see you again soon.